yeah. One more time, one more time. Then I rose this morning, yeah. I didn't have no doubt. No doubt. I knew that the Lord would bring me out. I believed it. Fell down on my knees. Yes, Lord. I said, Lord, help me, please. I got up singing, shouting, victory. Oh, victory is mine. Come on. Victory is mine. Just claim it. Victory today is mine. Believe in the Lord. I told Satan. Get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, all ye people. Praise ye the Lord, all ye lands. Lord upon him, because he is glorious and magnificent. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly thank and praise the Lord for another day's journey, for how he woke us up this morning and he started us on our way, gave us a mind to be in the household of faith, praising and worshiping him. We certainly want to give honor to the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, for whom all our blessings flow. We thank and praise the Lord for our lovely wife, Tracy Quinn. Amen. Thank God for uh, Pastor Duck and Mother Louise Davis and our deacons and our missionary department. Amen. And we thank God uh, for our media team and our praise and worship team. We certainly give God glory for even our visitors here on today. Truly, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. And we certainly do thank God uh, even for today. It's an anniversary day for Christian ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. Amen. Nine years, nine years on today. Amen to the date. Thank you, Lord. Nine years ago, we opened up uh, on East 38th Street. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord moved two years later and brought us here to this location. Amen. And the building's paid. The Van is paid and all the bills are paid. Come on, give God a praise. That's a, a tribute to our Lord and Savior. And that's a tribute to our faithful members here at Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. And we thank God for your obedience to the vision. We thank God for your sowing seed into the kingdom. And we thank God for your faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Let us just give the Lord one more praise. I should have. Should have got a birthday cake for Christian ministries. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Celebrate. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate. So right now, we certainly do want to go before the Lord in prayer. And we awesomely want to uh, remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Let us pray that we promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even in this time and in this season that the Lord will lay it on our hearts on how to get this message out uh, so that people will be saved. People will be delivered. Amen. I believe that God never stops saving. I believe that the Lord never stops delivering. Amen. Do y'all believe that on today? Thank you, Lord. So let us pray. Let us pray for the body of Christ. Let us pray for this transition that uh, we are in, even in this season, in this age, uh, I know that it's not taking the Lord by surprise. And the Bible says that every temptation he has made a what? A way of escape. And we already sang it. We already prophesied it, that victory is ours. So let us pray one for another. Let us pray for those that uh, uh, succumb to illness and sicknesses and diseases. Let us also pray for uh, men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Are there any particular uh, prayer requests, any special prayer requests? Thank you, Lord. Sister Harper. Praise the Lord. Yes, one more time. Yes.
Amen. Sister Harper has asked that we pray for her brother who has overcome a hip, re hip replacement or hip surgery. He had a hip replacement. Let us pray for him that the Lord will touch his body. How old is he? Oh, just guess. 59. All right. All right. We'll pray for him. The reason why I ask, when you get a little older, your bones don't heal up as <laughs> so, you know, he needs that fervent prayer, the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous. Uh, pardon me? Oh, wow, he's a tall guy, 6'6". Six, six. So he needs that fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous that will avail much. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Uh, let the church stand. Let the church stand. And uh, let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you and praise you, Lord, for your graciousness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings that you've blessed us to come together one more time to be in the household of faith. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing, your strength, and your grace that you have blessed us, Lord, to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. As we come boldly to the throne of grace, Lord, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your strength. We pray for your empowerment. We pray for your glory. Let it rest on each and every one of us that are here under the sound of my voice. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you strengthen each and every servant of God. Uh, give them a mind, Lord, to serve you in holiness and in righteousness in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, a special prayer. We pray, Lord, for those that need healing, those that need deliverance in their bodies. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that, that you pull down strongholds, that you cause the enemy, Lord, to go back into his place. Keep them under our feet in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, for your special anointing, that you'll be in this atmosphere, that you'll send forth a word in the name of Jesus. Send forth a word, Lord, that we may cleave to with a purpose in heart. We ask you, Lord, that you bless our worship on today. Bless our praise on today. Lord, bless our fellowship on today. Lord, have your way in our midst. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let your glory be revealed as we see the day approaching, Lord. Let us cleave unto you, Lord. Let us cleave unto you, Lord. Let us cleave unto you, Lord. Let us watch and pray. In the name of Jesus, realizing that no weapon formed against us, it shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, you have given us the power to condemn it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let us walk in your overflow. Let us walk in your anointing. Lord, encourage our hearts. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. I feel the oil of your anointing. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that your presence abides in this place. And Lord, let your Shekinah glory, let it be made known. Hallelujah. Let your presence be made known. Hallelujah. Touch us on this anniversary. Touch us, Lord. Hallelujah. And we give thee thanks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, do your miracles. Make known your signs and your wonders. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And as you remain standing, hallelujah, I want you to go with me to... One of my favorite verses in the Old Testament scripture, uh, Isaiah chapter 53. Thank you, Lord. Ah, let me, let me, let us go over to Isaiah chapter number nine. Thank you, Lord. Lord, just drop that on my heart so we don't do that. It's good to do what the Lord said, do <laughs> If you have it, Isaiah chapter number 9, and it reads as thus, and drop down with me to verse number 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, 
and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts, he shall perform it. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. We turn you over to our praise team. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Such a sweet spirit in the room. Hallelujah. Can you feel his presence? Hallelujah. Can you feel the anointing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You reign, you reign, you reign. Say, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Praise Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, say, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, say, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every day. With power, with power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. With power, with power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Come on. Oh, 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 my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every name. Oh, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every day. Oh, my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every day. Oh, with power, with power and majesty, dominion, authority, you reign. Oh, with power and majesty, with power and majesty, dominion, authority. You reign. Come on. Oh, 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 my God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every day. Aren't you happy? My God reign. My God reign. Our God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every day. Over, over my circumstance, you've given me another chance. You reign. Oh, oh, over my circumstance, hey. Over my circumstance, you've given me another chance. You reign. Aren't you happy that he's a God of a second chance, hey? Over my circumstance, you've given me another chance. You reign. You reign, you reign, say yeah, 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 yeah. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you reign, you reign, you reign. You still reign. Come on, put your hands together and you reign. Yes, you reign. You reign. Yes, you reign. I can feel your presence in the room. Oh, oh. you reign. Yes, you reign. You reign. Yes, you reign. Oh, oh. you reign. Yes, you reign. You reign. Yes, you reign. You reign. You reign, yes, you reign. You reign over my life. You reign, yes, you reign. You reign, yes, you reign. 
Father, we bless your name today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's worship time in the sanctuary. We just want to give you what you deserve, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Say everything. Everything. You're everything to me. Yeah. You're everything to me. Everything. Everything. Oh, my God. You're everything to me. You're everything you to me. Everything. Everything. God, you're everything to me. You're everything you to me. Everything. Everything. You're everything to me. You're everything your to me. Life your life and breath. Your life and breath. You're everything to me. You're everything. Your to life me. and breath. Life and breath. Yeah. You're everything to me. You're everything. You say to everything. Me. Everything. You're everything to me. You're everything. You're to everything. Me. Everything. everything. You're everything to me. You're everything Your to me. Your life and breath. Your life and breath. Hallelujah. You're everything to me. You're everything Your to life me. and breath. Your life and breath. Hallelujah. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. Joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Everything to me, hope for tomorrow, hope for my tomorrow, 
tomorrow. Hope for my 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 tomorrow. You're my peace. You're my peace. You're my peace. You're my peace. Worship him in the sanctuary. Let us worship him in the sanctuary. 
everything. He's everything. He's everything. everything. He's everything. everything. He is your joy. He is your peace. You're everything. You're my peace. You're my peace. You're my peace. Come on, just worship him. You're my peace. You're my peace. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Everything to me. You're everything. Joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Just open your joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Just declare him to be. You're everything to me. You're everything I hope need. Hope for tomorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Your hope for tomorrow. Your hope for my tomorrow. Your hope for tomorrow. Your hope for tomorrow. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. everything. Everything. You're everything to me. Everything. 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 Let the church stand. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. Everything. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare in this place that you're everything to me. We declare and decree, Lord, your glory in this place. That you're everything. That you're everything. That you're everything to me. That you're everything. 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 You are our joy. You are our peace. You are our strength. You are our healing. You are our deliverer. You are our waymaker. You're everything. You are our Savior. You are our King. You are our Lord. You're everything. You're my peace. 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 You're everything to me. You're everything to me. He's your resurrection. He's your deliverer. 
He's your way. He's your truth. He's your life. You're the way. Your rest. Yeah. You're everything to me. Hey. You're the way. David said, The Lord is my You're shepherd, and I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He anointed your head with oil. He restored your soul. He's everything. You're everything to me. He's everything. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. David said, He's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's everything. Everything I need. He's that bomb in Gilead. Everything I need. He's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Come on and give him a praise in the sanctuary. Come on, give him a praise in the sanctuary. The presence of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here to save. The power of the Lord is here to deliver. Hey. He's whatever you need him to be in your hour of need. He's whatever you desire him to be. He's that friend that's sticking closer than a brother. If you need him to be a friend. <laughs> hey. If you need him to be a rock. He's that rock in the weary land. Everything to me. He said, I'm that bread that came down from heaven. Everything, everything. Everything, everything. Everything to me. Everything to me. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Everything. You're everything to me. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. We bless you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give the Lord a praise. He's everything. He's everything. He's everything. Hallelujah. As we begin to think about all that he is. We can certainly say he's everything. We could stay there on that verse all day long. Just saying what Jesus is. My Lord, and would never exhaust who he is and what he is to us. My Lord, he's truly everything. Come on and give him a praise. Come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. Uh, there's no other name given under heaven. The Bible says whereby men must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. We exist because of Jesus. Hey, we were created because of Jesus. How many of you know you were created because of him? All things were made by him and for him. And without him, there was nothing made. That includes you. You were made to worship him. You were made to glorify him. You were made to live for him. You were made to call him savior. To call him your Lord. You ought to give the Lord a praise in the sanctuary. My God, my God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's good to be in the household of faith. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Because if it had not been, uh, for the Lord is on our side. There's no telling where we would be. Come on, give God a praise if you, you thank him for your corona free. 
Hallelujah. He kept you. He watched over you. Come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise him for your family members. Praise him for your husband and your wife. Praise him for your children. Praise him for your friends. You ought to praise the Lord for his protection. Hey, he that keepeth Israel, he never slumbers, nor does he sleep. You ought to give the Lord a praise. He woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. He put a clapping in your hands. You ought to give the Lord a praise. Oh, the devil had desired to sift us as we. But Jesus said, I pray for you. Oh, the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star. He prayed for us. Oh, the rose of Sharon. He prayed for us. He prayed that our faith would fail not. Oh, hallelujah. We thank him on today. My God, we thank him on today. Hallelujah. We thank you on today, Jesus. Uh, for whom the Son is set free is free indeed. I thank you for my freedom. Uh, I thank you for my independence. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the multitude of many blessings. Do you thank him for your multitude of many blessings? Do you thank him on today? Hey, hallelujah. He put a hedge of protection about us. Lord, I thank you. Hey, come on, Sha. I thank you. Lord, if I had 10,000 tongues, I'd tell them all to say thank you. Hallelujah. He's worthy of the praise. Tell somebody he's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. My God, he's worthy of the praise. Sometimes, you know, it's like you can't help yourself. <laughs> if you just let your mind go back and think of the goodness of Jesus. If you just let yourself go back and think of all that he has done for you. Ah, sometimes you just got to get in a quiet place. And as the song says, count your many blessings. And name them one by one. I'm reminded, I'm, we gonna move on with our service, but I'm reminded, I'm reminded of the musician Asaph. He was kind of down on himself because he had seen the wicked prosper more than the righteous. And then the Bible says he went to the house of the Lord and he begins to think about the goodness of the Lord. He begins to think about how good God is. He begins to think about all the things that the Lord had done. Hallelujah. And then he begins to praise him. He begins to give the Lord a praise because his foot was almost but to slip. But, but because God is good. Because God is merciful. Because God is great. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. I said we ought to bless the Lord at all times. I said we ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. We ought to bless the Lord at all times. Uh, there's never a time I ought to bless the Lord. I ought not bless the Lord. Because the Lord is good. Tell your neighbor the Lord is good. Hey, my God. The Lord is good. And his mercy endured forever. You know, sometimes... We're going to move on, but sometimes we can murmur and complain. We can complain and murmur uh, and even murmur and complain about the Lord. Not fully realizing that all that the Lord is doing is for us. Not fully realizing that the Lord is blessing us. 
Not fully realizing that all that has happened is working for our good. And then when he reveals it to us and shows it to us, we feel that big. Because we realize that if it had not been for the Lord, we realize that if it had not been for the Lord, who was always working for us, who was always working through us, who was always working to us. Hey, hallelujah. We ought to give the Lord a praise. We ought to give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Sometimes we be like children. And the parents say, son, daughter, don't, don't eat that. It ain't, it, it, it ain't good for you. Uh, sometimes we are like children with the Lord. The Lord say, don't do this, don't do that. It ain't good for you. Hallelujah. But it's not until we get a little older. It's not until we get a little bit more mature that we appreciate uh, the hand of the Lord on our lives. We ought to appreciate the hand of the Lord upon our lives. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, we cry. Sometimes tears roll up in our face. Sometimes we even have a pity party. Uh, but, but, but tell your neighbor, it's the Lord. Uh, it's the Lord. Uh, he's working in us. Both the good, the will, and the do of his good pleasure. Come on and give the Lord a praise as we... We get ready to move on with our service. We thank God for the praise and the worship. We thank God for the praise and the worship. We thank God for the anointing that is in this place. Hallelujah. We thank God for the anointing that is in this place. And as we get ready to move on with our service on today. Hallelujah. I feel like shouting. <laughs> I feel like praising him. I feel like praising him. My God, praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him when the sun goes down. So we certainly do thank God for his gracious blessings. And by way of announcements, amen, we are looking at service on today. Starts at 10 o'clock. Amen. This is our new worship hour until further notice. So we want to invite and let people know, amen, that the church doors are open and that we could come to the household of faith and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord. There's never a time where we should take a break from worshiping and praising the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is good. I said God is good. And we thank God for your faithfulness. Amen. We thank God for your faithfulness. Uh, I preached last week the second sermon. Uh, it was about faithfulness, how God is faithful. Isn't God faithful? Hallelujah. Because God is faithful, he allows you to be faithful. Because God is faithful, he can cause you to be faithful. Y'all don't hear me. Because God is faithful, he causes you, he allows you to be faithful. So we thank God for his faithfulness. So as we look by way of announcements, uh, also, too, we have our, our council coming up, our virtual council coming up June 17th and 18th, which would be a Friday and a Saturday. Uh, it's going to be on Zoom. And oh, what did I say? What did I say? June. Woo, man, I didn't want to go back. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, no, I don't want to go back. <laughs> I want to go ahead. <laughs> thank you, Lord. So, yes, thank you. Uh, July, July 17th and 18th. Uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, we're going to be on Zoom and on Facebook. So uh, the messages will be forthcoming, and the theme uh, will be uh, navigating through complexity. Navigating through complexity. We're in complex times right now, and we're all finding our way. But, but what's so good about it, uh, the Lord already knows the way. Amen. So what we really have to do, I'm getting the revelation here, is just following the Lord. Amen. Following out the Holy Ghost. Isn't the Holy Ghost the guide? Hallelujah. So we, we are in uncharted waters, but the Holy Ghost is not. <laughs> Am I right? How many of y'all believe that? Thank you, Lord. I believe that today. 
Thank you, Lord. I was talking to an individual, and we were talking about victory. And he had made a statement about he has to get the victory. And the Holy Ghost spoke on the inside that Jesus Christ has already gained the victory. We just believe in the victory that Christ has gained for us and walk in that. Amen. If we could do it, we wouldn't need him. Amen. That's why Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let us have faith and confidence in, in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us have faith and confidence in the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We sing about trusting him, don't we? We sing about leaning on him, don't we? Amen. But now is the time uh, where the rubber has to meet the road. Now is the time where you have to put your faith uh, in action. Am I right? Oh, hallelujah. And only the strong is going to survive. Hey, only those that call on the name of the Lord, amen, are going to survive. They're going to endure. Am I right? And, and it's a good thing. It ain't a bad thing to trust in the Lord. Isn't it a good thing? Hey, it's a good thing to trust in the Lord. Uh, he is a way maker. He is a heart fixer. He is a, a mind regulator. If there was anybody that has your back 100%, 100% of the time is Jesus. <laughs> How many of you know that today? Ah, oh, it's Jesus. He got your back 100% of the time. Uh, I may fail you. Hallelujah. You may fail yourself. Uh, but Jesus, he never fails. I said he never fails. I said he never fails. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost, come on, the spirit of truth, the paraclete uh, that walks beside you, that leads you and guides you, come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. Put your confidence in him. Uh, that's why Paul said, I'm persuaded. Thank you. I went from that. I'm trying to do the announcements. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, so prepare yourself uh, for the Night Pain Council uh, that's coming up July 17th and 18th. Thank you, Lord. And on this week, on this Thursday, uh, we're going to declare a Christian ministry fast uh, Thursday uh, starting at uh, 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, go to Thursday uh, at uh, 4 p.m. Fasting and prayer. Amen. Fasting and prayer. These times we need to pray. We need to fast. We need to uh, build up ourselves on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So along with fasting, uh, you know, prayer comes with fasting. Amen? And belongs with fasting. Abstinence comes with fasting. Abstain from water and drinking. Uh, you got to take your medications and things like that. Amen. You got to have a little food on your stomach. Uh, to take your medications, that's permissible. Uh, but uh, consecrate yourself. Consecrate. Don't, don't be looking at the days of our lives and, and all these other things, gossiping on the phone. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Thank you, Lord. Don't be, don't be doing all that. Don't be engaging in uh, sexual acts, stuff like that, you know, while you're fasting and while you're praying. Amen? Be holy unto the Lord. And our fast and our prayer will be for yokes to be destroyed, for the reunification of the body of Christ, the, the, the physical members of the body of Christ, the strengthening of the church. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We got we to gotta make get ourselves together. Am I right? Before you can help anybody, you got to help yourself. <laughs> Come on here. So you be a little selfish and, and fast and pray for yourself and for your brother and sisters. Amen? Hallelujah. So we can be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right. Come on, give God a praise. All right. We want, uh, now we want to take up our offering. Amen. It's blessing time in the sanctuary. So we want to ask Sister Yolanda if she would come forward. At this time, as we get ready to give. Thank you. Come on a little bit further, sis. Don't be shaved. 
I mean, don't be shy. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let the church stand. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. The Lord said he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. Let us declare it and decree it. And, and when the Lord says to give, he says give as you have purposed in your heart to give. And giving is to honor God and to sow seed into his kingdom. And that's the measure by which God blesses you and blesses the church, which in turn is to bless the world. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand here in your presence, your solemn presence. We thank you, Lord, for this anointing. We thank you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We pray, Lord, that you open up and break up this fallow ground, that the seed that we plant here today, that we may bring forth a return, 30, 60, and 100 fold. And Lord, bless the givers, bless the receivers, and let it be used for your glory and for your purpose. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. Uh, Sister Yolanda, we want you to start on this side. Just be uniform. Amen. All right. the king of kings we sing the praises to our king for he's the king of kings we sing the praises to our king for he is the king of kings we sing the praises to our king for he's the king of kings we sing the praises to our king for he is the king of kings we sing the praises to our king for he's the king of kings we sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King. Give Him glory, give Him glory, for He is the King. Give Him glory, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory, for He is the King. Give Him glory, for He's the King of Kings. Sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory, for He is the King. Give Him glory, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory. For he is the king, give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. We certainly do thank God for your liberal giving. And I forgot to mention that um, there's people that are watching us uh, on Facebook Live. Also, uh, you have the opportunity to sow seed on Tagly. Amen. So you can uh, do it that way or you can mail in your love offering uh, to Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church, 501 West 31st Street, Erie, PA, 16508, or drop it in our drop box. Amen. We certainly do thank God uh, for you all that are here and those that are afar. We thank God for you all. And I truly am uh, blessed today to stand here uh, and to uh, preach the word of God. I count it as an honor and a privilege. And we certainly do thank God for uh, what he is doing for us and what he's doing through us uh, according to his anointing, according to his power, and according to his word. Uh, uh, just turn up on the, these monitors, just the monitors. That's all I need. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so we, we certainly do praise God as we get ready to go into the word of God. And I want you to turn with me, if we could stand and go with me, uh, to the book of Romans. The book of Romans chapter number one. 
the book of Romans, chapter number one. We certainly uh, praise God for the prophets and the apostles, for the evangelists, and for the teachers and the pastors, the fivefold ministry uh, who are equipped to mature the saints and they're there to edify, to build up the body of Christ. We thank God for them. We thank God for you all. I thank God for myself. <laughs> thank you. You ought to thank God for yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank him for yourself. As we are looking in the book of Romans, uh, chapter number one, just want two verses of scripture there. And it reads as thus. Paul is saying, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of, oh, verse 16, I'm sorry, Romans 1 and 16. Paul says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. just want to read that one more time, if we could pay attention to it, and if I could get another mic. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jews first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, just to say thank you. And we praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing that you've placed on our lives. We ask you, Lord, that you strengthen us with all power, with all might. Bless this word and bless those that are hearers and doers of the word. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord and I won't be before you long. I just want to uh, entertain your hearing uh, from that 16th verse, uh, from the first statement of that 16th verse. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to just take a thought on today. Be not ashamed of the gospel. Be not ashamed of the gospel. And uh, when looking at the book of Romans and the, the author of the book of Romans, we see here that uh, Paul is the author, and literally Paul gave his life uh, for the preaching and the teaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul lived uh, an authentic life. What I mean by an authentic life, he was a real soldier. He was a real individual who dedicated himself for the gospel. The Bible says that he made himself a eunuch for the gospel's sake. And uh, when he was converted, when he was saved by grace, Paul said, I'm determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And it's good to have authentic people uh, in your life. It's good to know authentic people that 
keep it real 100% of the time, 100% of the time. And this is the type of person that Paul really was. He, he, he made himself, as we said, a eunuch for the gospel's sake. And he, he also, uh, the Bible says, that uh, he had a pedigree. He was born, uh, circumcised on the eighth day. He was of the tribe of Benjamin, of the stock of Israel, the Hebrew of the Hebrews, and uh, touching the law, blameless, a Pharisee of the Pharisees. But he's, when he encountered Jesus, he said, but I count all these things but dung, but loss, uh, for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So Paul really, he really dedicated himself uh, to be uh, the Lord on the Lord's side. He really dedicated himself to live a lifestyle that was uh, benefiting to others so that they may receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. In other words, Paul was dedicated to his calling. He understood his purpose. He understood why the Lord had called him to suffer for the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says that all those that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And Paul was one that realized that in my suffering and in my persecution, I'm going to glorify the name of the Lord. And when we look at these particular scriptures here on today, we see that there is a commission on the apostles' lives to preach the gospel. When we were to go back to Matthew chapter uh, 28, where it talks about the Great Commission, and uh, it tells us that Jesus commissioned his disciples and set them apart. He told them to go ye out to all nations and to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching all nations, teaching all nations to observe whatsoever I commanded you. And Jesus said, I'm going to be with you always, even until the end of the world. And uh, there's something about this gospel is something about the message of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says that it is of the gospel, which is the power of God. This gospel that we preach, it's a message about Jesus. It, it literally, I, I, I was coming to terms with the fact that, you know, we give a definition of the gospel. We say it is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But it goes deeper than that. It goes to the embodiment of Jesus Christ. It really defines who he is. Every, everything that Jesus did, from, from healing the sick, from raising the dead, from preaching and teaching, from doing miracles, signs, and wonders, it embodied the gospel of him. It it, it showed you the power that is laid up in the gospel. Uh, when, we, when we think about the gospel, we should think about who Jesus is. We should think about the power that is in Jesus Christ. Because as when he walked the face of this earth, he, he manifested the gospel. Uh, the Bible said, I read in your hearing earlier, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, the Mighty God. We're talking about Jesus Christ. Uh, and the Bible says in him we live and move and have our being. And, uh, and I want to just talk to you today about uh, not being ashamed of the gospel. You would think in your own mind, living on today, that why would Paul say not 
to be ashamed. Well, you've got to consider the time that they were living in, that, that before this gospel took traction and started being progressed all over the world, it was, it was started as a little acorn. It was started as something that was uh, 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 shameful. It was started as something that was not eloquent and something that was not really magnified. And when you look at even the, the start of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus, the Bible, the Bible talks about Jesus being a prophet in, in the scriptures. He's going to be mighty in word and deed. But, but you know, there's some scriptures that people uh, don't uh, pay attention to where it said that Jesus was going to be despised and uh, rejected of men and uh, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. When we look at the start of Jesus, Jesus' start, he started out, he was uh, born in a manger. My God, he was born in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. He wasn't born, uh, uh, though he were born a king, but he wasn't born in a palace. He, uh, his, even his family members, his, his mother wasn't really well known by uh, other people, but she was known by Jesus uh, a lot of people may not know your name, but, but, but it's good to be known by the Lord. It, it's good to be known by God. God. God knows who you are. God sees where you are. God knows your name. He knows your name, and he's the one that called you. He's the one that's going to sanctify you and elevate you. And when we look at Jesus and his start, when we look at Jesus, he was, his father, his natural father was a carpenter. Uh, not, not a prestigious job. He was a, a carpenter. And, and when we study the life of Jesus, the Bible tells us that uh, he died and, and he, he hung on a tree. And the scripture says, curse it. Is anyone that hang it on a tree? So, so, so it was, it was something that they had to look to when they talked about, uh, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed because of Jesus Christ and his life that he lived because he, he lived a life. He lived a life that was exemplary, but he died a death that, that was looked down upon that was looked at as being somebody that that died as a criminal that he they died as a, a a common thief he died as as thieves would die on a cross so they said in the word they said in the word don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ and Paul was excited because he realized that though Jesus died that type of death he died that death because it was written in the scriptures. Uh, he died that death because he died for you and I. He gave his life as a ransom for you and I. The Bible tells us that, that Jesus, it behooved him to suffer uh, and to die. Thank you, Lord. And to be buried and to be raised again on the third day. And that repentance and remissions of sins should be preached in his name. And we know that through the gospel of Jesus Christ that not many wise, not many noble are called. And, and it was God that said in his word that it was by the foolishness of preaching. Uh, the preaching of Jesus Christ. It was by the foolishness of preaching that God would save those that believed. And when we think about this gospel, when we think about the message that is wrapped up and tied up in Jesus, that we should not be ashamed because we realize this message is the message and the power of God unto salvation. And when we look at the Apostle Paul in my, I'm on hasten to my clothes here. When we look at the Apostle Paul, we begin to see that he literally gave his life to the preaching and the teaching of the gospel. The scripture says that he was called to be an apostle, an apostle with a special message, a, a message 
uh, about Jesus. He was a chosen representative to bring forth a message about the Savior, bring forth a message about the Deliverer. Why? Because Jesus, he gave his life for you and I. Uh, the Bible says that we were all born in sin and shaping in iniquity. When we look at the gospel, when we look at the gospel message, we have to understand, brothers and sisters, that in this message contains the plan of God, uh, the redemptive plan of God. There's no other gospel, there's no other plan where a man or a woman can be saved. There's no other plan uh, that a man or a woman can be redeemed. Hallelujah, from their sin, from the guilt of their sin, their, their sin and shame. There is no other plan that is given under heaven where if a person died, they can live again. But if you have faith in this gospel, if you have faith in this word, you can live again. Jesus, he said that I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And that's the gospel message. It deals with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And not only that, but it also gives you the power to live this life. And that's the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. How can you overcome sin? You can overcome sin by believing in the gospel. How can you overcome death? You overcome death by believing in the gospel. How can you live a victorious life upon this earth? By believing in the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. That good news that is able to set you free. That good news that is able to heal your body. That good news that is able to give you power over the enemy. My God, don't be ashamed of this gospel. Uh, Paul told, uh, told us in his reading, he told us that by God, that this gospel is about a son, the son of the living God, who is the descendant of David, which showed you that Jesus Christ came from a lineage, a lineage of kings. That's why the scripture tells you that he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And the Bible says that he is declared by the spirit to be the son of God with power. Uh, Jesus has power. He has that power to save. He has that power to deliver. He has that power to set the captive free. The Bible says that the spirit of the Lord was upon Jesus. Uh, he was that spirit that was upon him. He preached the gospel to the poor. He had, was sent to heal the broken hearted to set the captive free, to deliver those that needed deliverance, to deliver those that needed a yoke broke off of their life. Uh, it is in this gospel uh, that Paul says, don't be ashamed. Uh, it is in this gospel, he said, I am not ashamed. Uh, why? Because it is the power of God unto salvation. Uh, you see, Paul, he loved Jesus. Uh, he loved Jesus. Jesus so much that he was willing to give his life. Paul loved Jesus so much that he was willing to lay down his life and give up everything that was important to him because he loved the Lord. The Bible says that Paul was a bond servant, which means that he was freed by the gospel uh, to serve the Lord. He gave his life to serving the Lord. Brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, we ought to give our life to serving the Lord. We ought to turn over our life and be so dedicated to, to him because without him we can do nothing but with the Lord on our side the Bible says with Christ we can do all things through him that strengthens us uh, if you just look back 
over your life. Uh, before you came to Jesus, uh, you can truly say, I can testify of myself uh, that I was like a ship without a sail. Uh, I had no hope. I had no joy. I had no peace. Uh, and if you are honest with yourself, you can say that to yourself, that before you came to Jesus, you had no hope. You had no peace. But this joy that you have, if you're tangled up in Jesus, this peace that you have, the joy that the Lord gives, the world can't take it away. It's something about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And because Paul was in love with the people, he was in love with God. And because he was in love with the people, he decided to give his life over to the Lord so that he might preach the unsearchable riches of Jesus Christ. In order order for you not to be ashamed of this gospel. You've got to love the Lord. You've got to trust in him. And you've got to love the people. Why? Because it's the power of God. Uh, there's no other means whereby men and women can be saved other than the gospel of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, I'm trying to let you know that this gospel that we preach, this gospel of Jesus Christ, it's the only lifeline. It's the only deliverance. It's the only way from earth to heaven. It's the only way whereby men, women, and boys and girls can be saved. It is only in the gospel of Jesus Christ where one died and rose again from the grave. It is only in the gospel of Jesus Christ where he is ascended up on high and he led captivity captive and he gave good gifts unto men. It is only declared in the gospel where Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father with an expectation to make all of his enemies his footstool. It is only in the gospel that if you hold on to the truth of the word of God that Jesus is going to descend from heaven with a shout at the last trump the dead in Christ they're going to rise up first and that we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet him in the air it is only in the gospel if you put your trust in Jesus you shall live again Again, forever, forever, and ever. It is only in the gospel. If you trust in him, he's going to come back and establish his kingdom forever. And he shall reign. He shall reign forever. It is only in the gospel where the devil shall be cast into the lake of fire and shall be destroyed. It is only in the gospel uh, where those that trust in the Lord uh, can be who God said they can be uh, more than conquerors. Uh, it is only in the gospel uh, if you believe, uh, if you have faith uh, and trust in the Lord, uh, you can be transformed uh, by the renewing of your mind uh, that you may prove what is that good uh, and acceptable and perfect will of God because this gospel is the gospel of Jesus Christ it's the gospel of Jesus Christ the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and then to the Gentile and it's also the revelation of God 
uh, that we must live uh, by faith. Uh, you see, this gospel, uh, it reveals who God is. Uh, it reveals his plan. Uh, it reveals his deliverance uh, that God thought about you uh, before you thought about yourself. Uh, God caused the lamb uh, to be slain before the foundation of the world. Uh, oh my God, uh, uh, that God Cause the lamb to be slain for you and I. For the Bible says, for verily, for a righteous man would some die for adventure. For a good man, for some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, while you were dead in your trespasses and sin, it was Christ that died for the ungodly. It is in the gospel that it is truly revealed that God so loved the world. That world is you and I. That he gave his only begotten son that who believeth in him should not perish. That word perish means to be eternally separated from God. My God, I don't want to be separated any longer from from my God. So I got to believe. I got to believe that Jesus came. I got to believe that Jesus died. I got to believe that I'm a sinner that needs to be saved by grace. And if I, oh my God, if I lift him up, if I be lifted up, he said, I'll draw all men unto me. You got to believe that he came and gave his life as a ransom. You've got to believe that your victory is in Jesus and if you believe you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you if you believe you can touch the hem of his garment and be made whole if you believe you can be set free from all of your guilt from all of your shame if you believe Believe you can be healed. Oh my God, you can be healed and delivered. Oh my God, clap your hands and give God a praise. For it is in this gospel, is the faith of God revealed in the gospel of Jesus. It's the faith of God revealed. In other words, God, He revealed His faith in His Son Jesus. Jesus Christ, uh, who is able uh, to keep you from falling, uh, to present you faultless uh, before his favor, uh, uh, before his presence. Uh, God believed uh, when he put Jesus uh, here upon this earth uh, that he put the Holy Ghost in him. Uh, he believed uh, he wouldn't say a mumbling word uh, when he was despised or rejected. Uh, he believed. Uh, that he would give him authority and that Jesus would go and do all that the Father has commissioned him to do. That's to save a wretch like you and a wretch like me. And that faith is evident in what we believe. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God with power. We believe that he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We believe that if I die, I shall live again. We believe in the water baptism that we've been buried with him in baptism and raised again to walk in the newness of life. We believe that we can live a holy and sanctified life. Why? Because he lives, we can live also. We believe that 
We have power over sin. We have power over the grave. We believe that he is the resurrection, the way, the truth, and the life, that no man cometh unto the Father but by him. We believe that if I put my confidence, if I put my trust in him, everything is going to be all right. You ought to give God a praise. We're not ashamed. We're not ashamed of this gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. Do you believe today? Do you believe today? Jesus said in the book of St. Mark, chapter number 8, in verse 38, he says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, on him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in the glory of his Father with the angels. My God, when I first read that verse some years ago, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, we get among other people, we don't want to say praise the Lord. Sometimes we get in the crowd and we don't want to bow our heads and pray for our food. Sometimes we don't want to testify with other people and say, it's the Lord. He, he bought me this house. It's the Lord that healed my body. Sometimes we want to say, good luck. <laughs> huh? It was, it, was, it was just by happenstance and luck. That, that I'm doing well. It's the decisions that I made that, that, that has allowed me to come thus far. Sometimes we deny him without even verbally making mention of him by the lifestyle that we live. The Lord has been good to us and therefore we ought to be good to him. And live a lifestyle that's worthy of his name. And if I don't live that lifestyle that's worthy of his name, I'm being ashamed of him. I'm not, I'm not letting my light shine before men. Y'all understand me today? I was in my backyard last night. And there was fireworks going off everywhere. And I'm looking at my yard. And I'm seeing these fireflies. Y'all know them fireflies? They lightning bugs. And I'm watching them. And all I see, I see, I see a spark here, a spark there, a spark here. Then all of a sudden I see a great spark of them. And the Lord said, that's how it's going to be with the saints. The saints should allow their light to shine. Sparks everywhere. And then the Lord brought back to my remembrance a sermon that I heard. It was a doctor that preached it. He said, fireflies, they, 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 their, their tails light up only when they're moving forward. Only way we can allow the light to shine within us if we move forward. Don't look back. Move forward. Don't be ashamed of him. Because I don't want... Him to be ashamed of you. I don't want him to be ashamed of me. So we got to let our light shine. This gospel has done too much. The Lord has done too much. The, this, this thing has cost too much. Even one day with Jesus. It's too much. To go back now. Hey, are you persuaded? Are you encouraged?
God is not ashamed of you. Jesus said, I'm not ashamed to call you brethren. So let us not be ashamed of him. Amen? How do we prove that we're not ashamed? We live the life. Amen? We live the life. <laughs> uh, I know a guy that had a girlfriend. He was a little ashamed of her. He didn't want to bring her around. <laughs> he didn't want to bring her around the family. She was like the invisible woman because he was ashamed. Amen? She was good enough for him to hang out with. She was good enough for him to have relations with. But if anybody shamed you get intimate with, my God, I'm preaching right now. If you're intimate with Jesus but don't want to take him out in public, oh, my God. That's a bad situation, ain't it? Whoo! If I had a girlfriend... This is a hypothetical. I ain't got no girlfriend. <laughs> I got a wife. But if I had a girlfriend that was ashamed of me, I'd dump her. Would you dump her? Ain't no sense. Ain't no sense. And us trying to have a relationship, you, you ashamed of me. You don't want to be seen with me. Huh? But yet you want to sneak over in the midnight hour. Mmm. Don't be ashamed of him. Don't be a closet Christian. Amen? Lift him up. Magnify him. Love him. Am I right? Thank you, Lord. And if y'all in some kind of relationship, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Y'all in some kind of relationship, they're ashamed of you? Drop them. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a praise. Thank you, Lord. I got to cut it off now. I'm being silly. But we have to realize that we can't be ashamed of this gospel. It's the power of God under salvation. Give our lives to it. Amen? Let the church stand. If there's anyone here on today that want to be baptized in the name of Jesus, you can raise your hand. We'll baptize you in Jesus' name. Amen. And let me pray for those that are here on today. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We just say thank you. We praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that's here. Keep us and watch over us, Lord. I thank you for their faithfulness. I thank you for the love. Thank you for the truth. And Lord, continue to bless us and help us. In Jesus' name, amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Love one another.